So the more you recognize the presence within yourself, the more you recognize that love is here and it's coming from your own self. You're the fountain, you're the source of this love. The more you recognize that within yourself, the less you're projecting it outside of yourself. And that starts to help you become free. Freedom from bondage. Waking up to this illusion that is not real. And it doesn't serve us. All it does, it brings suffering. It makes you suffer because you're in this dream illusion thing that that which you're looking for is somewhere else. And you're always chasing to get it. And sometimes you get to it and as you want to hang on to it, but the more you kind of try to hang on to it, the more it starts to evaporate and disappears. So it always turns to disappointments at the end. Anybody else? My dear friend Suzanne? Okay. Hi, Hi Suzanne. Do you have a question for me? No. Good. I, I'm more than happy to listen to you and it's an interesting subject and I'm looking forward to the workshop, but I don't have a question. Oh, okay. Good. Excuse me. One moment. I'm trying to get my Instagram going again. So, all right. Good. All right. We're live here too. Hi, Sharon. How are you? I'm good. I loved listening to this today. Thank you so much. Great. Do you have any questions for me? Uh, why is it so hard? Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh. It's hard because there is resistance. That's why it gets hard. Because the acceptance is not there. Surrender is not there. The more you surrender to it and you accept it, the less there is resistance. So that's why it gets hard. Because of our expectations ideas of how things should be rather than surrendering totally to what is acceptance of what is whatever that is that you become comp you surrender to it completely and you accept it for the way it is then you see the shift happens all of a sudden what seemed like to be impossible and difficult it becomes very easy. So you need to look in there within yourself to see that. But Sharon, a lot of it has to do with spiritual conditioning too. Especially for those of us who've been on this path for a long time. You're going to have to let go of your ideas. Whatever that is. Just get rid of whatever you're Whatever belief system that you have, know that that is creating suffering. Get rid of them and start fresh. Walk into this thing as if you don't know anything. Whatever that is. Shamanism, crystals, healing, what, whatever that is. Get rid of all of them. Be naked 
and innocent and don't know anything. Just sit at the presence of Her Majesty, the Supreme Being, completely naked. Come to this work every day and say, I don't know anything. Because every single time that I thought that I got it, I got very humbled. I got my ass really kicked hard. I got my nose bloody by the boss. Not out of malice intention, but out of love. That you don't know anything. And the reason you don't know anything is because I am infinite. You're dealing with infinity. And the mind cannot understand. The mind wants to conceptualize this. We want to put it in a box. We want to create some kind of borders of how spirituality is, how it works. And then we go by that guideline. This is beyond all of it. And every time you get to a point that you think you figured it out, it just pulls the rug from under your feet. And consider yourself lucky when that happens because it's doing it out of love. Otherwise, you can stay in ignorance. Hi, Leslie. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> You I was writing to, to you. You wanted to say something? I do. I, I, I think I must finally say something because it's a glitch in the resonance of my experience with you that just adds an unnecessary challenge for me because I'm okay. um, in my own experience with that which is the infinite, the divine presence of Mm -hmm. that which is beloved within us mm -hmm. and I experience it in every way that you describe it and and have been encompassed and then back in my own dark nights and I, you know I've, I have been on this path for a long time um, I don't assume I know because truthfully the more you know the more you realize you don't but I really have difficulty every time you say her majesty because it suddenly okay. throws my mind back into du wait a second back into duality and it feels to me much more beyond that and no more neutral than that and it feels like you're projecting something onto that which is beyond being either he or she um so i really have trouble with that okay um i i mean it's not mine to ask you can you just mute that a little bit just that one little kind of gender association with that which is beyond gender um because it feels can, like can, can i do what can i do I, what i didn't hear that part invasive of me to even ask this but i was just wondering <laughs> i wished inside you would sort of mute that gender association uh-huh everything else you say i'm like right drawn in and then as soon as you put that i'm like sort of thrown back out and okay it's such an interruption for me and I just needed to right. find it because right. I am right. very much appreciative of everything that you are and share.